In this day in the life vlog, I'm going to be sharing exactly how I'm going about starting keto. If you've wanted to give keto a try, but you've found it confusing and you have no idea how to begin, then this is the vlog for you. Welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. And if you're new here, hi, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name's Elle and I am mum to twins, Revy and Rue. Today's vlog is a day in the life all about how I'm going about starting keto. I first started a keto diet about three, maybe even four years ago, and I've been on a long break. The intermissions happened because I was pregnant, and then I was also postpartum, getting my milk supply up and making sure that that was established. But now is the time that I am transitioning back, and I thought today was the perfect day to vlog and show you exactly how I'm going about starting keto again, so that if you're wanting tips and tricks, you know exactly how to do it too. So in this vlog, I'm going to share what keto is, what I'm eating, keto macros, tips and tricks, literally everything you'll need. So first up this morning, the twins joined me for a shower. They were just in the bathroom with me. Thought that was the easiest way to do it. So that's evidence and proof that I have actually showered for the day. I'll show you my outfit because this is literally my at-home mum outfit that I wear all the time. It is high-waisted pants, a feeding bra, and this one's also a pumping bra, and then a comfy robe to wear over top just to kind of keep me cozy because I do breastfeed and also formula feed the baby. So that combination fed and I pump as well. And this is just the easiest thing to wear. It kind of looks like I'm wearing my pajamas again. I know, but anyway, I'm going to get the babies dressed for the day. They're hanging out here in their playroom. The playroom's all set up for them. Those are two feeding pillows, so just ignore that. But this is their mat that they're gonna kick about on. I've got some cute clothes for them to wear after they've finished, kicking about. And here they are, they've been hanging out in this cool teepee tent, kicking about with all the things. <laughs> Rue had enough and he was ready for a cuddle, weren't you, Rue? You were ready for a cuddle. These guys have had their breakfast. They are, now I'm trying to like tire them out for their next nap, which won't be too far away. I'm gonna put them down over here behind me on the mat so they can do some kicking about, some nappy off time. And while they do that, first up is going to be breakfast. I've prepared my keto porridge mix ahead of time. And this is something that I highly recommend you do if you know that you're gonna be starting keto on a certain day. Try to meal prep whatever you can to make your life easier. So all I need to add into the the dry ingredients is the wet ingredients and I'm using this unsweetened almond milk. In these oats, I've sort of changed them up a tiny, these keto oats I should say. In my keto porridge, I have also added in some nutritional yeast, some brewer's yeast, because that's really good as a lactation support supplement. So that's one change I've made to these. In my keto porridge, I have hemp hearts, chia seeds, ground flax seed, which again is another amazing lactation support supplement. And it's also just really good for you regardless. I've also got a keto sweetener, some cinnamon, and I've added in some brewer's yeast for me. So I'm gonna heat this up. And while I heat this up, let's talk about what keto is. So what's keto? It's a high fat, moderate protein, and low carb way of eating. And it has some amazing health benefits. There are a lot of misconceptions about what a keto diet is, but essentially, it's really looking at ways in which you can eliminate or drastically reduce foods that are sugary or foods that turn to sugar in the body. A lot of people are motivated to follow a keto lifestyle because of weight loss goals that they have. And people tend to think that in order to lose weight, they must only restrict the calories that they're eating. But that's only part of the picture. The calories matter, but there's other things that are in play as well. It's all about the types of foods you eat. Have you ever eaten a McDonald's meal and you feel really hungry soon after? Because same, I absolutely have. Or a big bowl of pasta. And that's because these foods act a certain way in your body, causing you to feel hungrier faster. Refined carbohydrates react a particular way with your body. And following a keto diet means that you are choosing a different fuel source to fuel your body. There are two available fuel sources for your body. There's sugar or glucose and there's fat. Ketones are produced when the body burns fat and these are what fuel your cells. The goal of the keto diet is to get your body to metabolize fat rather than sugar. And this is what's known as being keto-adapted or fat-adapted. It usually takes 
three to four weeks for a person to reach that state. Some of the health benefits that people experience when they're following a keto diet might include eliminating migraines, improving their fertility, improving their skin quality and reducing acne or other skin issues like eczema, improved sleep and also improved mental clarity. So what happens when you eat too many carbs? The body's storage for glycogen or carbohydrates is actually quite limited. The average person can store between 300 to 400 grams in their muscles and 60 to 90 grams in their liver. Once that storage space for the glycogen is full, then it doesn't have anywhere else to go but to be stored as excess body fat. So even though carbohydrates are fat free, they still end up being stored as fat for a lot of people. But that's not all, because any snack or meal that's high in carbs will trigger a blood glucose response in your body. In response, the pancreas secretes a hormone known as insulin. This goes into the bloodstream and then lowers your level of blood glucose. The problem is, is that insulin is mainly a storage hormone. It works to put aside those excess carbohydrate calories and store it as body fat so it could be fuel for later. So to recap, when you eat too many carbohydrates, insulin sends a message to your body saying store any excess as body fat. So if all of those glycogen stores are full, it has nowhere to go but to be stored as excess body fat. So that's why for so many of us when we eat carbohydrates, because it's really easy to eat more than our body needs for those storage areas to be full. That's why it's so easy to find that you're putting on weight over time when you're eating those kinds of foods. The great news is my porridge is done. Here it is, it is so yummy. And the best part about this is that you can add in whatever toppings you like. I even have a keto brown sugar. This is an erythritol stevia blend and it's got just a little bit of molasses in it for color. But this is like the perfect brown sugar alternative. So I'm gonna add some brown sugar. I'm gonna add some runny cream because that's so yummy. A little bit of peanut butter and also some frozen raspberries. I just gave the babies a bottle and they are now down for their lunchtime sleep. This is hopefully their longest sleep of the day. This gives me a chance to get on with dinner and also make myself some lunch. Dinner tonight, I'm gonna utilize the slow cooker. The slow cooker is such a good resource if you are low on time and you need something that's convenient. It's great if you're going out to work or if like me, you're at home but you're really busy and you don't have a chance to be in the kitchen for too long. You can just whack everything in there and then it's done and you have a hot, delicious dinner at the end of the day. Tonight, we're gonna to have ranch chicken and you'll see exactly how I'm making, how I'm gonna use that ranch chicken in the recipe later. And for lunch, I'm gonna make up one of my favorite combos, beef, bacon, cabbage, honestly. So, so delicious, so easy, and so budget friendly. It also gives me a chance to throw in other veggies as well, just for some more fiber. When you're starting a keto diet, some people can experience issues with going to the bathroom. And that's because there can be a lack of fiber in your diet. Remember that a keto diet isn't a no carb diet. It's just a reduced carb diet. So it's all about being really smart with the choices you make around what vegetables you're including. And having lots of non-starchy veggies is a great idea. So all of those things like cabbage, zucchini, broccoli, they are great options, really nutritious delicious and they tend to be affordable throughout the year and if they're not there's always frozen veggies as an alternative this is lunch really easy but so delicious there's onion just a little bit of onion ground beef bacon zucchini and a bit of cabbage and i've seasoned it I've got some yummy seasonings in there, some salt, some pepper. This is going to be so filling and so good. I've added in some nutritional yeast as well. So this is a dairy-free beef, bacon, and greens. This is how easy keto cooking can be. And honestly, so filling, so delicious, and also so cheap. The baby's naps don't always go to plan. Today's one didn't go quite to plan, but they had some they did have some sleep, so I can't complain. They're both just chilling here at the moment. 
I'm just gonna make myself some lunch and hang out with you guys. Yeah? Hi, Ruby. Did you have a good sleep? Look at this guy. The other thing ideally I would have had done ahead of time is make us a keto treat to have in the fridge because I have a sweet tooth and when it comes to starting the keto diet, that is something I can really struggle with if I don't have a sweet option on hand. But there are so many yummy, easy keto treats that you can make. And today I'm gonna to make a rocky road and have that in the fridge for Dave and I so that we can have that as our little sweet treat that we can grab anytime from the fridge. If you have a sweet treat in the fridge, remember, that's not failing on a keto lifestyle. That's just helping you with the adjustment. And I highly recommend that if you do have a sweet tooth, make sure that you prepare in advance and you have an option on hand that you can enjoy. are down for their last nap of the day I need to tidy up the house tidy up the kitchen and I also want to make the Rocky Road sweet treat with you so let's do that now because it's so easy and this is one that you should definitely make at home here's a rundown on what you need to make this Rocky Road so first of all you need some chocolate some coconut oil I'm just using this Pam's one you also need to have some jelly I'm using the jelly light the airplane I'm using raspberry flavor but strawberry is also good and you need to have some gelatine powder. You add gelatine powder to the jelly just to make it thicker so that you make your jelly cubes. And I have already done that in advance and I've set it in this silicon mold. And it literally just pops out so easy. So you can see that it's just my jelly and it's kind of like a thicker jelly version that I'm going to cut up and add into my Rocky Road. You also need to have some keto marshmallows. You can buy keto marshmallows in the store. They are sweetened with sugar alcohols that some people can be sensitive to, but a small amount is not a problem. I honestly could not find any at the supermarket during our shop, so I made my own. This recipe for this marshmallow, if you want to try it, is actually on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, make sure you jump over, say hi, check it out. I have so many recipes saved to my highlights and this is one of them. This is the marshmallow that goes with my keto pinky bar slice and honestly, it is so yum. You're also going to need to have some nuts, whatever nuts you like. I love these new something to crow about keto maple walnuts. They are delicious, so that's what I'm going to use today. But Feel free to sub in whatever nuts you like. First step is to melt down your chocolate. And the easiest way to do that for me is just in the microwave. I'm using the Lint 85% cocoa, but you can obviously use whatever chocolate you prefer. I'm just adding it into the microwave safe dish and about a tablespoon of coconut oil. And then you just want to put this in the microwave. I like to put it in for a minute. 30 to start off with or a minute 25 and then melt it down in smaller increments you don't want the chocolate to burn so it's actually safer just to do it in shorter increments so maybe start off with 30 seconds and then 45 seconds just do it slowly until it's all melted to make my jelly cubes which i'm going to cut this up in just a second i used a tablespoon of gelatine powder with one packet of jelly and then half a cup of water. The reason why you don't make the jelly as it says to on the pack is because otherwise it will not turn out like this, which is kind of like the cubes you want, which mimics the jelly lollies. The next step is just to cut up all of the ingredients that are gonna go into your Rocky Road. So making sure you've got your jelly cubes ready. And you can cut these up to be whatever size you like. The next step is to cut up your marshmallow. And if you've already got marshmallows that you've bought from the store, then that's a lot easier because you just cut them in half or in quarters. These marshmallows are so light and airy. Here we go, we've got the marshmallows. Got marshmallows, got candies. And then last one to get is the nuts. To make the Rocky Road, I'm going to use the same silicon loaf pan that I had the jelly in just because it's really easy to get the, the treat out of once it's set. Make sure that if you're not using a silicon one that you line it with glad wrap or cling film, something so that you can get it out easy. And then you just want to pour in your chocolate that you've prepared. Make sure that the chocolate's not super hot because if the chocolate is really hot, then it's going to melt the jelly and the marshmallows and you don't want that. The 
This is the Rocky Road all done. I've loaded it up with toppings. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge, let it set, and then I'll show you the finished result later. Babies are asleep. I've just come into the kitchen to grab out the Rocky Road. Ah, it's looking so good. Let me show you it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Keto Rocky Road, yes. Our sweet treat for the week and dessert tonight is now all sorted, so I'm gonna start making dinner. I started dinner a bit earlier, as you saw the slow cooker is on, so that was part of dinner, but I'll show you the rest of the things that are going to be in that, and I'll share the recipe so that you can try it. If you're wondering exactly how to start a low-carb keto diet, then just remember that it's all about adjusting up your macros to make it keto friendly. And if the macro side of things confuses you, you can always come over to Well Club, my healthy lifestyle and recipe app. We have a seven day free trial and there's a link to Well Club in the description box below. There we have an exact macro calculator so you know exactly what macros you need for your own individual needs to reach whatever goals you have. We also have hundreds of recipes with new recipes added every week, a shopping list generator, and so many other tools to make your transition into keto super easy, super fun, and also delicious and enjoyable. But just as a general rule, you'll be looking to have your macros set out so that 5% of your macros are allocated to carbs, 20% of your macros are allocated to your protein, and 70% of your macros are allocated to your fat. It's really important to make sure that every day you're hitting your protein goals. Don't be afraid to eat all of your carbs as well. Eat all of those macros because those are your healthy veggies that are filled with fiber and also some fruits like berries. And then the fat macros, you can kind of use that as a lever. So you can eat all of those fats if you're feeling really hungry or on the days that you don't feel quite as hungry, you can use it as a lever and you don't have to eat all of them. So that's kind of the one you wanna play around with a little bit. Might seem confusing at the start, but trust me, it's so simple if you just focus on reducing and cutting out the processed carbs and sugars, do that first, and then look for ways in which you can increase your protein, having healthy protein sources, and look to introduce fats as well. So don't be afraid of fat. This is not about going low fat, which so many of us have been used to and accustomed to. While I make dinner, I always like to sip on something. Tonight, the beverage of the week is this Vista. It is a sparkling water. It's keto friendly because it's low in carbs. Oh, I should say, if you are wondering what foods are keto friendly, I have a whole video on that where I bring you shopping with me and I show you. So I'll link that video. Make sure you watch that one after this one so you know exactly the kinds of things that you should be shopping for. So yeah, this is just a sparkling water that is keto friendly because it's like zero carbs and it's very yummy. And it's so important when you're following a keto lifestyle, especially in the beginning to make sure that you're hydrated. So I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna prepare my supplements as well and make sure that I have those. When you start a keto diet, some people experience something known as the keto flu. And this is basically just, it feels like you have the flu, but you don't. It's just your body withdrawing from carbs and kind of detoxing. But I've never experienced it because I make sure that I have these three supplements and genuinely it stops you from getting the keto flu. So this is what you need to make sure you have. Three things you need to remember are sodium, magnesium, and electrolytes. My electrolytes that I have are the Well Essentials electrolytes. These are actually my own electrolytes that we've created. They're so yummy. I'll leave them linked in the description box below. They come in three flavors. And I love to have them twice a day when I'm adjusting into keto. And one of them will always be with soda water. If you mix this with soda water, it makes the yummiest electrolyte soda, I call it. Magnesium is really important because when you are starting keto, one of the big side effects that people experience can be muscle spasming, which is so crazy. And also some people can struggle with sleep as their body kind of adjusts into using fat as its fuel source instead of sugar. So my Lights Out Latte Blend, this again is a Well Essentials product. It is so good, it has magnesium in it, which helps with the muscle relaxation, recovery, and the zinc is great for added immunity. So I make sure I have these. You can always 
make your own electrolytes if you can't grab the well essentials ones and if you can't get lights out latte then just make sure that you have a magnesium supplement and the final supplement that i make sure that i have is literally a chicken stock cube this one is actually vegetarian friendly, so it doesn't matter if you are vegetarian, you can have this. It's really about the sodium. And if you don't feel comfortable having a stock cube, just make sure you are very heavy handed with your salt, because salt is crucial to avoiding the keto flu. I literally just have one of these a day, mixed in with a cup of boiling water, and I sip on it like a soup. It's so good, and it stops me from getting the keto flu anytime. I feel kind of run down, sluggish, fatigued. I make sure that I'm having sodium, magnesium, electrolytes. I promise you it makes such a difference. Here is the chicken, it's all done. This is my ranch chicken. Look how tender it is, it literally is falling apart. I'm gonna shred that and add that into our dinner. Slow cooked chicken breast is so juicy. If you haven't tried it, you've got to give it a go. It's really, really easy. I basically just used a chicken breast with the herbs and seasonings and like maybe half a cup of water, just a little bit of water just to poach it. But oh, it's incredible. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to make cheese taco cases that I'm gonna put the chicken into. And it is so easy to make a keto cheese taco. I like to grate the cheese just because it's a lot easier to work with. And you literally just sprinkle it into your pan, make sure your pan's on, and the cheese is going to melt. So just kind of arrange the cheese sort of the size of the taco shell that you want. And then I like to use this, like a wooden spoon, over any kind of pot, basically. So you take your cheese shell from the pan, and then you droop it over this, and that will make your cheese shell shape. And then that will harden, and it's super easy to work with. Of course, the one time I'm filming doesn't work. I'm gonna try that again. Make sure your pan is a non-stick pan. I think the non-stick coating on that pan has come off, so take two. <laughs> way better <laughs> non-stick pan for the win so that is how you make the cheese shells I'm just gonna let that cool for a little bit and that will make a way better shape I'm still a thousand percent gonna eat this one though <laughs> this is dinner this is ranch chicken, slow cooked ranch chicken and a cheese shell taco and a side of slaw. That's how easy dinner was to put together. Cheers. Cheers. Pink's the manly color. Mm. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. And I've got blueberry lemonade. So, These are our two OG flavors. Yeah. We started with watermelon and blueberry lemonade, and then we extend, extended the range to tropical. Tropical. So oh, good. That all jam. so good. Yeah, Dave's just got home from the gym, got dinner ready. So we'll have this for dinner. And then for dessert, we'll do a light out latte yeah. and creamy chocolate. And also, Dave's going to try the Rocky Road. Woo! At the moment we're watching Love Island, obsessed. I'm gonna go enjoy my lights out latte, eat my keto rocky road, and then head to bed for the night. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because the support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.